I'm Carrie Blair and I've been washing, waterproofing and repairing blankets for horses from 1999 till now. I'm in my busy season, spring and summer. I handle 2,000 blankets a year. I want to show you how I start out. Just to identify each blanket so I can't get them confused, I will put in magic marker a small last name or farm name on the front of the blanket. You can write it in there and it won't show on the outside. With uh, the Velcro either on the chest or the tail flap, because I don't want it to stick to other parts of the fabric or if there's a tear on the lining, the fiber fill will be coming out of the blanket in the wash. I this is a 40 pound professional um, commercial washer, so it's meant to be run all day long. It is not your average household large capacity washer. I use the Nick Wax Rug Wash and Rug Proof is all digitally programmed for me to do different things. So there's a clean blanket. Here goes the dirty one. I'm only going to put one blanket in there. If I only put one blanket in, I'm assured that it's going to get clean. Uh, the blankets are mostly synthetic nowadays and will actually burn, especially if they're put in a smaller capacity dryer. Blankets come out of the machine to hang on the fence on a nice day and they have to hang from their little back D-rings uh, from the ceiling on hooks in my building if it's freezing temperatures. flip them open with the wrong side up and make sure that the lining gets dry because this is thinner fabric and, and when I don't see wet down at the bottom anymore then I know it's dry on the inside then I flip it over and put the outside up. You usually have to pin things together to make sure the lining and the shell meet correctly sometimes even patch in fiber fill if it's missing you might find that there are times when you need to replace the blanket, that it has served its purpose, it's aged, it's um, weathered from the sun, from urine, manure on it, mud, etc. When I see a blanket that's very weathered, faded, straps are disintegrating, buckles are coming off, the hardware is rusted, I usually can tell a person how much it's going to take to put that blanket back in use, and if it's more than it's worth, they probably will want to replace it.